the atmospheric murmur of the orchestra's music crescendos into an exhilarating roar as the camera pulls in to reveal two warriors waging war. A battle-hardened soldier moves in at my command to deliver swift death to- <laughs> There goes my whole plan. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage pits me against my most fearsome foe, RNG, the random number generator, the almighty hand of luck, or unluck. This divine force versus my poor little brain and my poor little plans. Yeah, that's a pretty good chance my attack will hit but it is still just a chance. Yeah, it's unlikely the enemy will hit me here, but it is still possible. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> 14%! If that 14% mattered, that would have been... Whenever my troopers move in for a probable, but not guaranteed, killing blow against an enemy, there is always that worry, that anxiety, a concern that not only will I need to deal with a unit that shouldn't be alive, but that its retaliation will be severe. Letting even a single soldier of mine die under my command is unacceptable. In my quest against RNG, there are a few allies that I can truly trust. The number zero, the number 100, and backup plans. Plans to be sure that even the worst case scenario is an okay case scenario in a world of things that can happen, should happen, I need things that will happen. Save for some training related exceptions with low accuracy units, like when I send a little girl in with a gigantic hammer to bash in the kneecaps of a well-equipped enemy. Her eyes glowing a bloodthirsty red as this veteran armored soldier clutches his mangled leg and cowers on the ground moments before his head is caved in for those sweet, sweet experience points. But aside from those scenarios, I don't ever trust RNG with anything because RNG is a spiteful SOB. Like, I have landed so many critical hits that were not at all critical to the mission. In fact, they were completely worthless. An excessive explosion of damage creating complete overkill. I've even once landed a bothersome critical hit, a nuisance of a critical hit. It happened when I was trying to soften an enemy up so that the aforementioned murderous little girl could get the killing blow and gain some experience points. And then I hit a crit. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. Critical hits are cool animations, but seeing them almost never brings me joy the way you would expect. If my plan requires me to get lucky, then I have already lost. And all that complaining is about when I land the crit. Forget about when enemies land critical hits. That's the mighty gust of wind that violently topples my house of cards, my plans left scattered across the grassy plains. Which is exactly why I do everything in my power to only let tanks tank, to never leave a crack in the fortress walls wide enough for that rat RNG to squeeze through. And this is a strategy game, so there are a lot of ways to cover that crack. A lot of weight that my meager little brain has to struggle to carry upon its back. 
the weapon triangle. Sword beats axe beats lance beats sword. Armor is generally strong against physical attacks but weak to magic. Bow and wind magic beat flying units. Melee beats bow. Certain spaces give terrain bonuses. How far can the enemy move? Who stands next to who for placement bonuses like personal skills and support levels? What do you mean enemy reinforcements? What were they on their 15 minute union sanctioned break playing with cards in the cellar? Fog of war? Dear god they're everywhere! What do? When do? Who to? In game? There's a lot of factors to juggle during combat. There's a lot of factors to juggle outside of combat. Managing equipment and building builds is tough work. But the thinking is fun. The difficulty is fun. Even if I'm not too good at the game and thus play pretty dumb. The challenge is feel great to overcome. Smoke may be billowing from my brain and out my ears, and I may have to restart this lengthy battle from the beginning, but I swear I'm having a good time. These setbacks will not set me back forever, because I'm determined to defeat that damned RNG. You don't know how deeply using the time travel feature to redo a bad turn hurts my soul. It's like conceding the game a victory, if even only a minor one. I can see a smug smirk hanging on RNG's face beneath its greasy, slicked back hair as it reaches across the table and pulls away my poker chips in the palm of its hand. Although I will gladly time travel if the only reason one of my soldiers survived the turn was due to good luck causing an enemy's high accuracy attack to miss. I do not take pity from the enemy. Screw you, RNG. This game does not end until my boot is on your face and your face is in the dirt. Nothing less than total dominance will satisfy me. And then when I win, I level up and the stat growths are random and it makes my level up suck. Curse you, RNG. I hope you choke on your trifling little victory. I've been having a lot of fun with Fire Emblem Engage. I really like it when games give a ton of options to solve its problems. I enjoy XCOM for similar reasons. For anyone wondering, I'm playing on Hard Difficulty Classic Mode because I'm not good enough to play on Maddening Difficulty and I want Breathing Room to play suboptimally. That way I can play with the characters I like in whatever way I like. Because the best way to assert dominance on RNG is with a small child wielding a big weapon. There is no greater threat than the army we oppose. As the commander, I know how death nearly nips at our toes. But I must regretfully inform you, we cannot afford our archers better bows. Just don't tell my soldiers. I spent all our money and metal on clothes. No, no, no.